As Washington weighs military intervention in Syria over its alleged chemical weapons use, a new report suggests the U.S. once turned a blind eye to a series of far worse gas attacks. The year was 1988 and Iraq was caught up in a bloody territory war with Iran. At the time, the U.S. had allied itself with Saddam Hussein's regime, seen as the lesser of two evils. To squash a persistent rebellion, Iraq resorted to gas attacks on troops in Iran and Kurdish villages, killing thousands. Iran tried convincing the United Nations of what Iraq was doing, but didn't have enough evidence. Now, newly declassified CIA documents obtained by foreign policy suggest the Reagan administration did have the evidence and kept quiet about it. As one retired Air Force colonel told the magazine, the Iraqis never told us that they intended to use nerve gas. They didn't have to. We already knew. Not only did the CIA know, but it reportedly had a hand in carrying out Hussein's efforts. According to the docs, in hopes of tipping the war in Iraq's favor, the U.S. approved satellite intelligence sharing with Iraq, which helped ID the location of troops in Iran. It's worth noting we've known for some time, based on previous CIA files, the U.S. had at least some knowledge of Hussein's chemical weapons use. But foreign policy says its reporting now shows U.S. officials were regularly briefed on it, which the magazine says essentially amounts to an official admission of complicity. This report comes as Iraq's neighbor Syria deals with accusations it gassed hundreds of its own citizens near Damascus, prompting the White House to consider a military response. Critics of intervention will likely point out the hypocrisy of condemning Assad's alleged use of chemical weapons if the U.S. once helped Hussein do the same. The New Republic's Isaac Chotner says that argument is flawed, writing, For these questions to have any merit, someone needs to explain why having previously aided an atrocity is a reason for ignoring the next one. Either way, The Atlantic's Connor Friedersdorf says there's a lesson here to be learned about U.S. leaders who make immoral decisions even with the best of intentions. It's easy to see when looking back at the bad behavior of a leadership a couple decades ago, but those men were no more or less moral than the people leading us today. Neither the Department of Defense nor the CIA have commented on the foreign policy report. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.